go hungry. Chronic undernourishment and malnutrition persist, mainly among rural people in poor develop, developing countries, most of which depend on heavily uh, depend heavily on agriculture for their livelihood. So, so long as that is the case, eliminating hunger will require concerted efforts to speed up agriculture and rural development. Ladies and gentlemen, promoting the welfare of rural communities and increasing agricultural production have been key aspects of the commitment of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations for more than 50 years now. During this time, working with partners at all levels, from farmers uh, for farming communities to ministries and international funding organizations has recorded successes and gained valuable experiences. It is for th these reasons that the FAO is pleased to be associated with the Organization of African Development Boot for Food Initiative Peace Cup Tournament. Such initiatives will go a long way in facilitating the achievement of the United Nations Millennium Development Goal 1 that stipulates the eradication of poverty and food insecurity. We look forward to achieving this together as partners. I thank you for your attention. All the speeches made here today are hereby declare the OED's booth for food initiative and the Peace Cup tournament duly launched. Members of the uh, FAO, United Nations, UNDP, UNICEF. We would like all of you to lift up high the trophy and showing your pledge and commitment to this course of action that is going to definitely relinquish the idea. <laughs> Time ladies are forgotten at such wonderful functions, then it means that they are the most important personalities of the day. <laughs> they will all touch it as a symbol of commitment. Eradicating, eradicating hunger from Africa. Why? Because when an activity of sports is being pursued, we need each other on all fronts. God bless you all. Please shall we give them all a round of applause at this moment. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, and I uh, first of all, the Organization of uh, African Development. Thank you very much. <laughs> on behalf of the diplomatic Corp, we commit ourselves to the realization of peace and good security for Africa. The endeavor. Holy. Thank you very much. On behalf of Professor Abete Oeja, I see his competition 
for organization for African development. I would like again to congratulate Ueti and let them know that FAO and the whole organization is standing behind all initiatives that uh, strive at improving food security and eradicating poverty. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we like to support and put our weight behind uh, OAD uh, for this initiative and we hope that once they want to eradicate poverty, and if that is the aim, then they must consider gender issues. They must consider women and children issues uh, in this direction. And we congratulate them on this occasion. Thank you, ma'am. On behalf of uh, Embassy Benin in Ghana, the prayer of God to bless his cup and his organization. Thank you. Um, on behalf of the UN system in Ghana, I really commend the initiatives of OED and we wish some good luck for this new endeavor and keep up the road. Thank you. Well, as Ambassador of Senegal and member of the Diplomatic Corps, I have nothing to add because our boss has spoken on our behalf. Thank you. Thank you. I am representing the Vice Chancellor of the University of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, and OED can count on our support. Thank you. 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 Thank this crusade, and uh, in any way we, we can, we will give our support so that it becomes a success. I am Kiyake Ura Achilo, representing the Yomura Overlord of the Gojela. The Yomura sends his message to the OED, wish them the best, and pledge his total support for the development of OED in the interest of Africa, the world in general, in general and Ghana in particular. Please would like now Abu Isa to speak. Well, my brothers have spoken for all of us, so I really don't think it was those things for me to say anything. But um, this is why I'm clear that we should all support, and I hope that the ancestors will be behind the organization Thank you. Good job, Mr. Chairman. I have been accompanied by Governor Lana and Alassan. We are here to represent the company and the government. And the short message he has out, which we carried across at that time, is so happy. He wish to be here himself to be part of this historical problem. I mean, this. Uh, historic uh, uh, organization, uh, but finally stated he is highly delighted and is wonderful and uh, he offered his full support and to let the organization know that you can count on him and call on him any time. Uh, finally, he would like him to carry across during the world when we talk of food, the entire Northern Church it is the food aspect that is where we cultivate a lot of almost all the cereals. And 99% of our people are peace and farmers. So program like this, this certainly encourage and will support us and uh, to grow uh, food in our farmers. We thank you and we all will support this program successfully. We think that mining and food production can always coexist and uh, we pledge our total support to this initiative. Thank you so much. And God bless us all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen,
peace and agriculture. That's why we selected football to drive as a driving vehicle, as I said earlier on, to drive this project. Basically, the peace cap is basically we are using going to use football as a driving vehicle to drive the project of agriculture farming. When God created the world, we were living on agriculture. We were living on farming, you know. But today, everybody wants to work. The youth of today think that there is milk and honey in the men's cities. But today, there is no milk and honey in the men's cities. And the youth of today, we want to engage them into farming. And to engage people into farming, we, we need to use something attractive. We are using football as a platform, as a driving vehicle, as I said, to drive the project of agriculture, you know, to be able to engage, make, get the youth busy. If the youth of today, we get them busy, I don't think there will be chaos, societal vices, all those things will reduce drastically. Children, malnutrition, children and women who are suffering, I think those things will reduce. And also, we're going to embark upon um, irrigation system, that's water. So we'll use, be drilling boreholes, and we'll start from the most deprived areas, that is the north. Potable water to think. But do, it's using one stone to kill thousand bed. Thanks. Brilliant question. As I said, uh, Neil is our advisor in charge of sports. So we are working, we are having meetings every day. So we have plans. Plans are far ahead. Uh, 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 we have numerous plan so we need to finalize our plan and then later we'll make it public the way we plan to do it but if it we are doing it in consultation with our traditional rulers because at the end of the day what we want to achieve they are the custodians of the land that's why we involve them so basically as i said earlier on we will we will come up with that later so that everybody will be happy. We don't want to impose things on the, on the people. So when is it commencing? We're going to start the real tournament from uh, February, later part of February, and it will end in June. So f February, we start this. There will be series of activities, series of activities. Aside the cap, as, uh, we are going to... 11 farmers from Ghana to India, the Agricultural University of Punjab, and uh, we are also going to add all farmers from other African countries to join uh, Ghanaian farmers to go to India for two weeks to uh, learn about the modern way of agriculture, you know, yeah. Um, I'm here on behalf of Professor Albert Tevoetre. Uh, I speak English uh, light, light, but I continue in French. Uh, je suis là en tant que représentant du professeur Albert Tevoetre qui supporte véritablement ce projet. Le professeur Albert Tevoetre. Euh, ancien précédemment président du Centre panafricain pour la prospection sociale, devenu depuis une semaine euh, institut panafricain pour la prospection